Hello, see the meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I'm gonna show it off if I find anything interesting. I'm having more problems with this controller. Not that you need to know that, but it is annoying. going to be annoying to edit as well. So I'm thinking perhaps I can stand on his tail if I do this right. What makes it tricky, assuming I can do it at all, is that his tail is moving. But it may be the only way to get on to certain places. Aha! Easy, but never mind. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there. Let's go in here. The game is really, uh, uh, is really using its uh, things that it knows are uh, uh, hard here. But it's uh, it's utilizing things that it knows will be difficult to do. Like using a shark, for example, because it knows a shark can't be killed, and using this because it knows there's a time limit on this. It's also extremely difficult to do this without uh, just bashing against one of the walls. Hello. Don't eat me. Yeah, I know, it's just really difficult to navigate. <sighs> Nonetheless, it's time to go back down there again. I didn't think I could I would have time for two trips when I already wasted some time uh, wandering around messing around basically to try to find uh, that thing under there trying to actually reach it I'm not sure there are uh, any more holes for me to go down now I know I haven't gone through all of these. I know that some of them lead to things that aren't very helpful, like feathers, which is something that we don't really need. But still, they lead to something. 
so I might as well go through them. Okay, so I admit, I have checked a strategy guide because I couldn't work out where to go, and uh, it seems the only place to go is here. So, this is going to be tough, but I'm going to do it. Wow, oh, cool, good for him. I would really like to not die. I have to say. I don't fancy dying. Thanks. Uh, I don't suppose there's anything you could do about that, is there? Maybe send some oxygen my way somehow? Uh, okay. I really should have thought of that earlier, actually, of, um, raising the water level, but never mind. Uh, well, no, I haven't, I haven't technically raised the water level. Uh, I suppose what I've done is... Uh, sorry to, to hurt your, your wound there. Really, sorry. Um, ah, right, yes. I might be able to go up this that thing. Anyway, yes, I suppose what I've done is released him from the cage. I could have sworn I had more. Um, oh, oh yes, of course I do. Um, I do have more puzzle pieces. It's just some of them puzzle pieces from a uh, previous game. Okay, I need to do something about this teeth now. Well, I'm fairly certain he isn't going to kill me. Ah, it's not very often I say I'm fairly certain he isn't going to kill me. Uh, it isn't very often I'm standing on giant metal fish. Thought this did something. Ah! Huh. There uh, must be somewhere I can get to from here. Okay, let's, uh, let's start with this. This is really narrow, and the chains in camera angles don't help much. If anyone wants to donate a Xbox 360 controller to me, I'd be very grateful. Because this one has some problems. And the number of problems are going up. Now the left, uh, uh the, sorry, the right trigger doesn't uh, work anymore. Well, it doesn't work properly anyway. See, I was sort of moving on my own there. This is a bit weird. Okay, I'm not sure there's anything I can actually do here. So let's go down below. And let's go, I suppose, into his teeth. Because okay, there isn't really anywhere else to go. 
Okay, well, it seems I have to shoot one of his teeth in order, it's that one, uh, gold one specifically, in order to uh, activate his uh, mouth. In order to open it. It's actually really hard to get yourself into the right uh, place on this uh, platform. Aha! I thought his jaws were going to open completely, but fair enough. I'm assuming there's going to be some way to get up there at some point and hoping that I haven't missed the opportunity. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for this episode. I will see you next time.